All right, welcome. So today we're going to be going over the latest update. Uh, I know I'm late. Uh, I've been out of town, but I'm back and figured I'd go through this with you guys. This is for DCS version 2.7.16.278690 open beta. Uh, we've got some new features added to the F-16 and a ton of adjustments and fixes. Uh, not just for the F-16, but for many others as well, including the F-18. They've got a big one, a uh, bunch of added pieces and fixed issues. So uh, definitely take a look at it. I've got the link to the uh, fixed issues list in the description below. All right, one of the first things they added that I'm really excited about as an F-16 crew chief is the JFS door animation. Finally, we have the JFS door animation. So we're going to check that out and see how it looks. All right, so this is a, a view I'm familiar with right here. As a crew chief, this is where we're at when we start two. So here we go, start two. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna hold my comments until the end here. All right, we're gonna check. RPM's looking good. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see how this is when it shuts off. No. And the doors are still open. They should be closed by now.
So you Thunderbird pilots are going to be happy about that. All right, added ability for FCR AG range changing system automatically go in man. So what was happening before is uh, you would go over here to air to ground mode. In fact, let me go through that. So air to ground mode, get your FCR radar here. And if you wanted to change the range here, uh, it would stay in auto. And you had to go to manual first and then go and change the range. But now I'm not even going to select this. I can just start changing the range and it automatically goes to manual, so that's nice. Less steps, always good. Added HSD threat ring color change will become red when threat is within the ring. So, over here on the HSD, we've got a bunch of threat rings here. When I come within one of them, that ring will turn red. Almost there. Red. So what's really cool is, when you're looking at your HSD, you'll see which rings have you within the, the uh, threat ring, which rings you're in danger of. Kind of cool when you're doing a quick glance. HSD uh, cursor is zero function. So we're having a problem where... Move it over there. Cursor zero. Nice. Good to go. Adjusted radar detection and designation range. There will be a slight delay when the radar first detects a target as a search hit before it becomes a valid track file. The time between first detection and valid track file is much less now. It now matches references. So we were finding in air-to-air -air mode. Let's see if we can find something here. I don't have any error targets at the moment, um, but uh, in air-to-air -air mode, when you would uh, bring the cursor over a target and team is up, team is switch up, it would uh, take a little bit for it to finally um, become a track file. Uh, now it's a lot quicker. Check stability airspeed at 340 knots plus in AAR gains. So let's try that out. Let's go here, throw the uh, door open. So 340 knots plus A. Alright. Alright, we're above 340 knots. Okay. Let's turn the door. Close the door. Uh, I would say it's probably negligible. Yeah, I'm not really feeling much of a difference. Cat player.
ERTB, you're going to land, rearm, refuel, and the F-16 has this bug where uh, if you have a centerline fuel tank and you land with that centerline, or really any external fuel tanks, if you land with them connected and then you rearm, refuel, you only get uh, whatever fuel's left to, to put into the airframe itself, it will not refuel the external tanks. So in order to get full tanks again, you have to uh, jettison all your tanks, land, reload new tanks with fresh fuel so you can get the full, you know, 14,000 pounds of fuel if you have all three bags. Um, and I have not seen that be fixed. I don't think that has been fixed. So, but the fact that, so basically I, my RTB, I have to dump all my stuff, I land, then I reload, harms and tanks and everything take off and my harms won't launch. Also, I was able to launch those harms even after I did a complete jettison earlier and they launched with no issue. So, that's been fixed. Fuel test numbers on dial instantly show 6,000. So if you go down here to the uh, dial here, the fuel dial, uh, selector switch, and then your fuel gauge is over here. If you uh, left clicked left click to get this to test, uh, what would happen is this would go straight to 6,000 uh, immediately. It wouldn't actually slowly get there. And now it'll actually slowly get there. It looks animated. Before it was just instant. Adjusted flickus uh, gun trigger gain. All right, let's try that out. All right, we're gonna shoot this uh, power line here. Let's see how this flickus gain works. Oh, really nice. Altitude. Altitude. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, that's way better. It uh, used to be he would fire that thing, and, I mean, you got pretty much a, a, a retro-fire rocket here on the left side of the jet, so it would pull the jet to the left. Um, so, uh, when you fired it, it was like a reverse rocket pushing back on your left wing to kind of give you a left yaw when you're trying to fire and so you had to correct with your uh, rudder to kind of correct for that um, but I wasn't even touching the rudder at all and uh, it corrected it for me that is really nice this fly-by-wire system is pretty slick all right let's land this thing and check out the fuel tank bug see if it's still there I didn't see it listed but check it out anyway all right, so we've still got tanks on each wing, and uh, I am below the total fuel for the airframe without tanks, just slick. So in the past, I could only go to about 7,100 pounds, and that was it, even with tanks. So let's try this out. 100%. Yeah. Request refueling. Request rearming. Copy. All right, so we should start seeing fuel going in right about now. There it goes. And... Refueling complete. Yeah, well, let's see. So let's finish the arming. Let's see if that jumps up. Rearming complete. All right. Nope, still a bug. So, got wing tanks that are completely empty and landed, refueled, rearmed, and I only have 7,100 pounds. So the whole uh, dumping your tanks before landing so that you can get fresh tanks with uh, full of fuel is still a thing, so hopefully they'll fix that soon. There's actually quite a few things that I am waiting on, uh, so hopefully we'll see those soon.